Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 28th of 2022, well, it is titled Gems of a Maldivian Night. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image taken and looking out over a part of the Maldives. We can see the island off there in the distance. And we can see the a number of the uh, uh, objects in the sky there, a number of very bright stars. And some of those are very prominent, uh, very bright. And we see a few of those scattered within our Milky Way galaxy, which also stretches across the middle of this image. Now some of the common items here can actually be labeled for you. And we do see very one very well known star off to the left hand side, which is Alpha Centauri. And that is part of the star system that is closest to Earth. So it's a bright it appears bright in the star sky not because the star is really all that bright it's actually only comparable to our own sun but it is very close being only a little over four light years away so if that star were at greater distances hundreds or thousands of light years away it would not even be visible to the naked eye so it's not so our star can appear bright because it is truly an intrinsically bright star that can be seen over vast distances or because it happens to be close to us. Now towards the middle of the image, we do see the Southern Cross and we see four stars there. The lower three being blue in color indicating that they are much hotter stars and the upper one being a little more reddish signifying that it is a cooler star. So the color of the star does tell us something about the temperatures that hotter stars will appear blue and cooler stars will appear uh, in a reddish color. Now, if we imagine connecting that red star at the top of the Southern Cross with the bright blue star at the bottom of the Southern Cross and drawing a line through those, in this case pointing down towards the island, it would just be in the direction of the South Celestial Pole. Now, there is no bright star near the South Celestial Pole at this point, so there is no way to easily identify it. We happen to, in the Northern Hemisphere, have Polaris, which is relatively close to the North Celestial Pole. But that is just a coincidence right now that we happen to have a star in that general direction. And as stars slowly change their positions, they, whether there is a star near the Celestial Pole or not will change. So there happens to be no bright star there to identify it, but other methods can be used to identify the general location of the South Celestial Pole, which is a useful aid in navigation. Now the other star that we see labeled there uh, on the left hand side is Hadar, also known as Beta Centauri. So we have Alpha Centauri and Beta Centauri. And one common way of naming stars, the brighter stars, is by a Greek letter signifying their relative brightness within the constellation, and then the na name of the constellation itself. So Alpha Centauri would be the brightest star in the constellation of Centaurus. And Hadar, also known as Beta Centauri, would be the second brightest star. And then finally, off to the far right, we do see the Carina Nebula, a very large star forming region uh, within our galaxy. And we've looked at many close up images of that as well in the past. So that was our picture of the day for March 28th of 2022. It was titled Gems of a Maldivian Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Planet Planet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.